Um, so I'm starting off with 22 ounces of pineapple chunks I've already eaten and 8 ounces of measurable dates, the organic kind. So I type that into chronometer and I'll show you what I get. Okay, so the pineapple chunks, 624 grams, were 312 calories, only that much for $5. It's crazy, <clears throat> but I do love pineapple. Dates, 8 ounces, 628.23 calories. So, as you can see, you know, and dates, 399. So, you're getting twice more calories for a dollar less with your dates than you are with pineapple. At least this kind of pineapple. I mean, I could have bought an actual pineapple for four ninety nine, but then I would have had to cut it and all this other stuff, and I was really hungry. So, uh, you know, and I, you're only you're getting about two thirds. Like this was probably two thirds of what you would have gotten from a whole pineapple. But like I said, I was really hungry, so I just bought it and didn't want to have to worry about all the cutting, and cutting and stuff. And also another thing, this is cut and refrigerated probably the day before. So, um, you know, I always, whenever I cut a pineapple and eat it right then, I always have this stinging sensation. And I think it's because there's like an enzyme or there's something that, that stings, you know, our tongues and our mouths if we eat pineapple right when it's cut Be, you know but when you leave it in the fridge when you refrigerate it or you let it sit out for a while I think those whatever it is breaks down a little bit and it's easier to for me at least to eat it I don't know about any of you guys YouTube Biganomics here um, so I was gonna I was gonna do a what I what I eat video today and I am still gonna do it but I'm just gonna show you the things I've eaten for breakfast because I can't re-eat the things I've already eaten. So, here you go. Natural delights. 12 ounces of dates. 25 medjool dates. Not organic, but, you know, do what I can. These are pitted, so. Um, <clears throat> one pint of organic blueberries. Two ninety nine. Usually they're like 3 or four ninety nine. so I took advantage of that. Got those. Now I'm making a Penang curry. I just happen to love it. He's going to town on his bed. Um, I'm going to, I'm making it now. Got some shiitake mushrooms, the baby corn. I had this oriental style frozen uh, vegetable container that I put in there. And then, you know what I use, guys? Um, they have a Penang cur Thai Penang curry uh, recipe on about.com, but it's not vegan, so I just don't do... I, I make it vegan, basically. I, I don't do any of the fish, fish oil, or fish... Whatever it is, fish sauce, shrimp sauce. I don't do any of that. I do... I'll just, let me show you the thing real quick to show you all the ingredients that went into this. Here it is, Thai Penang Curry, Red Curry Paste Recipe. So, four teaspoons, four, table, four tablespoons tomato paste. I use tomato paste instead of ketchup because there's a lot less sodium. Um, one small onion, I used about a, half of a medium sized onion. Uh, and what I did was I put all this in my blender. So I got one, you know, a little bit of ginger, kind of chopped it up a little bit three cloves of garlic, I put a tablespoon of soy sauce, didn't do the fish sauce, didn't do the shrimp sauce, uh, did the paprika, chili powder, coriander seeds that I have a coffee grinder that I put them in to do grind them myself, two tablespoons of the chili powder, oh I already said that, uh, I have turmeric, cumin, I didn't do the kefir lime leaves because I don't know what the hell those are, uh, I did the cinnamon, did the nutmeg, did the ground cloves, one can of thick, good quality coconut milk. Regular coconut milk is way, way, way too fatty, so I bought a light coconut milk that is, I'll show you how much, you know, fat is in it. In one can, there's 250 calories, um, under 20, it's about 22 grams of fat. So, um, not bad. I mean, the other one, honestly, I think it's like, double that it's like double the fat or triple the fat something crazy that's the original not the light juice of half of a lime I did that just put it all in your blender and I have a chop setting on my blender that I used until it was pretty much a paste and I tasted taste tested it with a spoon and then now I'm just putting 
Mmm, smells so good, guys. I'm putting it in. Give me a second, I'm going to stir it up. I just stirred it up and tasted it. It is absolutely delicious. Um, so I'm going to make this like my weekly fix. This is my. This is going to be like my weekly fix to like amazing cooking with a little bit more fat in it. You know, because normally I wouldn't eat something with even that much fat in it. But since it's the light, since it's... Okay, so now I got three cups of uncooked rice cooking away. So basically what I'll do is I'll have this for, you know, an early dinner and then again for a late dinner and probably finish it. Um, so it's a lot. You know, I don't, I don't know how the hell I'm going to put this on chronometer. I guess I, I could probably try to do every single ingredient. That's what I'm, I'm just going to do that. All right. Show you when it's finished. Got to mention is that I did not add organic coconut palm sugar, so I just did. I forgot to do that, so I, um, I added two tablespoons. So yeah. Yum. This is the finished product. Um, it is delicious, you know. Mm. And I'm going to eat it now. So make it and enjoy it. Hey guys, so I'm going to talk about some of the changes I <clears throat> made from last week to this week. Because last week I made this, but it didn't turn out this good. So, some changes. Last week I didn't use shiitake mushrooms. This week I did. I used uh, a whole package of shiitake. I love shiitake mushrooms. They're, they're chewy. Just They're really good texture. Um, and they absorb, along with broccoli, they absorb up all the curry and it just make every bite just so much better. Um, <laughs> another one. The I added baby corn this time. Uh, I drained it. There was no salt. The ingredients were baby corn and water, so... Not a big deal there, but um, with sodium. Uh, what else? So changes from the original recipe that I put on the thing. I, you know, it's in this video, but I, I used light coconut milk instead of coconut milk because coconut milk has a lot more fat in it. It's about one third. I think it's one or two thirds less. I think it's two thirds less fat in the light, light coconut milk. Um, and then another thing I did was I. Um, what was the other thing? <laughs> okay, the ground ginger. I This time I chopped it up and, and uh, peeled it, like chopped off the uh, peel. Last time I left that in and it was a huge mistake because there were chunks of it and it just, ugh. If you've ever had chunks of ginger, just chunks of it in a dish, it, it can ruin it. So, mm. This time I blended it up along with all the other things in my blender on the chop setting to make the per the curry paste. Um, and then that is the last change that I did for this week was I blended everything together along with the coconut milk, just as the recipe says. Last time, last week I watched a video of a lady make it, preparing a vegetarian um, panang curry, but followed kind of what she did, but then all the ingredients in, and did it in the wok. So this time I didn't steam any vegetables. I, I mean, I, I did with the wok. But last time I, I used the rice to steam uh, the other vegetables. This time I had a, a package of oriental vegetables um, that I just dumped into the wok with the, with the uh, curry paste. And then heated it up all together. And it seemed to work fine. And then I added the shiitake mushrooms and the, um, the baby corn after the frozen stuff. So enjoy, guys. As this is plate number two, probably about half of what I had for plate number one. Um, it's starting to burn my leg. So, actually a lot, there's a lot left, so I'll probably eat that for, you know, later on, 8 o'clock dinner, you know, 7, 8 o'clock dinner. All right. It's cruising. It's cruising on the bold bike right now. Cruising through the old Illinois path. Park on my bike, 6.2 miles I think it was, 
be 6.2 back. Um, saw like probably four or five deer come across the front of me. Just a family of deer trying to survive in modern modern times and they can't even run around without being shot at. Assholes. Very beautiful day. It was supposed to rain. There was a 50% chance of rain. It rained for probably literally two or three minutes. Not very heavy. Stopped. High winds today. But just a beautiful day. Man, I wish I lived here, like in a little hut, like out in the middle, somewhere over there. I wish I just had a little hut. <laughs> I'd be so happy.